just fixing a couple things. I'm a little behind. I'm a little behind. Nope. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I currently don't have access to the chat, but I'll be with you shortly if anybody is there. Okay. Let's go, let's, let's go. Paste.
body skills. So it will make it, they can learn how to access these same skills and graduate with these same skills that they can work in the future. Direct access to mental health. Do you see them already? Yes, it's happening already. Our kids are already tuned into it, and that's why you have the ET generation, the Star Wars generation. When you say, may the force be with you, kids have an intuitive sense that that means there's a higher power flowing through us. So let's get on and really work with it. So in this activity, the kids do this, and they close their eyes, and they create a picture of the love in their heart. Sometimes it's a fire, a flame, could be a symbol of a heart, red, whatever. And they take all the love out of their heart, and they feel it in their hands, and they make a love ball. And if you watch the little children doing this, they're totally focused on it. And then they pack all this love energy in their hands. And then we have them feel and tap each other's hands to feel the love energy coming off. And of course, we know from the, the energy flow in the human body, the energy does flow off the hands. So what we're really doing is saying, here is a better way to teach what you already need to teach. And while you're teaching the old, here are some new things you can also teach. So we really bridge the two worlds. And what the kids are doing is, the kids are responding extremely well to the activities because the kids are already there. We live in a visually literate society. We're living in a society where kids are very interested in things such as mysticism, psychic phenomena, uh, out of mind, out of body experiences, because they're born with that kind of sense that this seems to be where energy flow is going.
Check. Check. Hey. What's up? Hello? Hello? Whoa. What's up? Whoa. Just a second. Sorry. How, uh, how's everybody doing? Is that the one for us? What's the one for us? What's the one for us? Hell. That's what I think. Hell. Right? Is that the one for us? Um. Good evening, folks. Thank you for coming to the Ambiguity Program. My name is... Evan. <laughs> and... Typically, uh, what I do here is play a bunch of short, weird old cartoons. Or just things that I like. And, uh, and you uh, enjoy watching them? Or don't? I would like to, uh, uh, so today, today is kind of all over the place and I'm, and I'm sort of following up on some things that I've gotten interested in over recent programs. Uh, some slightly more structured things for the next, next two shows though. More on that in a minute. Let's first watch, well, let's first watch, um, This cartoon from 1970 entitled The Five. The director is Jay Batchelor. I'm sure that we've watched this before, but it's been quite a while and uh, it is wild if you haven't seen it. Uh, I, I was uh, uh, just very struck by it. Here you go, The Five. Over tonight for me and the five Music started to play before we arrived Everyone grooving, coming alive with the vibe Is that you? Yes, me. Nice party. Super. We had the most... Tell me in the morning. Good night. Night. Oh, my feet. What a relief. I'm so stiff I can hardly stretch. Out of those shoes at last. About time, too. <laughs> there, there. Shall I rub it better? <laughs> Never mind. It was awful, but it's over now. Huh? It may be over, but it certainly was awful. For a start, how about this morning? You're too right. What a day. I wonder what sort she'll get. Let's hope they're more comfortable than the last lot. Yes, let's hope we have lots of room this time. Lots and lots and lots! Hey! Aren't we going to be measured? We must have room to move around and grow in. She's forgotten again. In and out, in and out, it's all go. What next, I wonder? This one looks fine. Feels good, too. Wait till she stands up. That's the crunch. Help! Fancy making us walk all the way home in these ghastly things. Walking shoes, my foot. Hey, stop that. Stop what? 
You pushed me on purpose. I didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. Be quiet, you two. There's a party tonight. A party? Help. Talk about sardines. brute trod on us, I really thought she'd take us home. Not her, selfish thing. Shush, you'll wake the little one. Ah, oh, little thing. She's dropped off. Well, pleasant dreams. <sighs> Wouldn't it be lovely if... <laughs> know what size we need. Then all the way round to get the right width fitting. Bliss! No more short or narrow shoes. Bags of room for us all. Hmm. Fits snugly around the heel and instep so we don't all slide forward. Straight. So now we'll all grow straight. And look at our baby. Not squashed up anymore, are you, love? What's more, whenever we're at home, we'll be let out to play. What, no shoes? Hooray! <laughs> Will we do this every day? Yes, every day. <laughs> Wouldn't it be lovely? Let that, uh, Jesus, one second, sorry. Jesus. Let that be a lesson to you. Um. Pretty, pretty wild. What's that level like? Does that sound good? I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, how many of y'all wearing shoes? Anybody out there wearing shoes? Take them off. Well, um... So next, somebody in the chat mentioned, uh, Fanta Drums. Which, uh, I've been playing an episode or two of most weeks for quite a while. And there's at least two left, maybe three, of which I'm going to only play one because 
I'm pretty sure in two weeks I'm going to do a an episode of this show entirely about uh, Studio Dauka, the um, the animation studio that made this incredible, unprecedented cartoon series. And I'm still trying to find a higher quality version of one of the things I've not played. But in the meantime, let's watch this one. Uh, oh, I don't have the year handy. Hang on one second. 1993. So a comparatively late episode of Fantadroms. Oh, we should do a new Pogodi. I don't. I'm not very familiar with that, but I, I, uh, I've seen some of it. Uh, okay, this is an epi uh, episode from 1993 of Fantadroms. It is entitled The Contest or Contest. Uh, have not watched it, but they uh, none of them have disappointed. Each one more incredible than the last. Absolute pinnacle of the medium. Um, please pay close attention. Fantadroms. <laughs>
Beautiful. Just beautiful. They're always so just freakishly tactile. Everything is so like squishy and all the everything is so acted. It's powerful stuff. So I have a real like um I have a whole vision <laughs> uh, for the show I'm going to do in two weeks, primarily about phantodroms. I, I, I'm interested in, as a sort of experiment, the uh, cumulative psychic effect of watching a whole ton of those, because uh, it's kind of a mind-altering substance. Fantadroms is. Uh, but that's in two weeks. What now? Okay, so last week I played what I think is the first episode of the Van Buren Tom and Jerry series that I have ever played here. Um, I uh, All of these that I've seen, they're very sort of graphically simple. Uh, but they're but 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 really charming and like squishy in a way and the way that I don't know just the way they work and move um, Feels kind of unique among other things from the 30s. So let's watch one of those. I have an, maybe two eventually It is quite a bit rougher than Fleischer. I mean it's they're both kind of going for the same thing, but in different ways it seems like this is a uh, Tom and Jerry from 1931 
It is called a Swiss trick. Here you go. Oh, too big.
Banger, do you say? What's the consensus? I forgot to say we got uh, we got to a hundo in here right out of the gate because somebody did uh, something called a raid. This is some Twitch thing. Thank you so much for coming, folks. Um, that one got a bit body horrible. I gotta say. Uh, Pug 71 It felt like a parody of a 1930s cartoon Absolutely I feel that It feels like A kind of like Self-consciously low rent Iteration of the Fleischer Studios Vibe right I kind of like that the Tom and Jerry's seem to be like much more Aware of And having in like Aesthetically comfortable with flatness they don't have all the highfalutin Fleischer studios like dimensionality and varied line widths and stuff there's something like I don't know workmanlike about that to me although I'm a I'm a Fleischer partisan myself so early on in the in the show I forget how this came up or who said it but somebody was mentioning uh, Zagreb film which is a Croatian, I think, uh, animation studio. I don't know much about them. Uh, they seem really associated with a like flat um, 60s style. But I have a cartoon made by that studio that I'm going to play next. Okay? Uh, okay, what do you think of that? How does that sound? Look, I have all these effects on this soundboard and not a single one of them is labeled demon voice. Okay? Should I get a fucking guitar pedal to give myself the demon voice? The only reason I... The only reason I am doing this is to build up to having a demon voice. Uh, drop the name in chat, Evan. Okay, if you say my name, I'll just repeat it. I don't... I, th right, this is called a uh, uh, surrogate. Maybe that means surrogate. Um, the director is Dujan Vukotic. Uh, D U S with a with a diacritic A N V U K O T I C with a diacritic. I'll type it in the chat. Um, this is from 1960 and one. Give me one moment. Oh, brother. Cool, I gotta know more about Zagreb Studio or Zagreb Film. Maybe this is not the same thing. No, it's Croatian. Well, whatever, we'll see. This is a uh, surrogate. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
That was pretty cool. Hey, that was pretty cool. Um, whoa, yeah. Uh, the substitute was the English title in that at the beginning. I did not have that handy because I simply don't plan enough for this thing. Well, that's a segue, actually. Because uh, the thing next week, I'm planning uh, an enormous amount. Uh, I've been trying to make a show like this for... I've been wanting to make a show like this for uh, months and months and months. I'm calling it... Oh, that's very big. I'm calling it... It's very big. One second. I'm calling it the Gundam Party. Um... So next week for the Ambiguity program, we're going to watch entirely only 
Gundam stuff. There's going to be multiple people that I have call in and just rap about Gundam and uh, related topics. I'm envisioning something that goes on for a very long time and is a mess. And also, I'm aware that, like, Gundam is an extremely nerdy and ridiculous thing that presents itself as, like, you need to know all the details and you need to follow this absurdly com complex uh, political intrigue plot over the course of decades. But the way that I... The way that I'm interested in animation and the way that I try to present it on the show here is um, it's just exciting to see people play with the medium like visually and that there is like raw improvisatory weirdness to be found in in practically all animation or in an awful lot of it. And it's there in Gundam too. So what I would like to do is like pitch... Uh, 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 a variety of Gundam things to you the viewer from the perspective of this is an interesting and disorienting thing to watch and it does wild stuff with uh, with the medium of animation and uh, well something like that I'm going on and on but uh, Gundam fucking rocks and yes, that screen cap is from F91. The most incomprehensible... <laughs> the most incomprehensible of the Gundam uh, products. So... Uh, commercial break. Right? We're going to do a commercial break. This first one uh, is directed by um, John Hubley. Do you have money jitters? Ask your nearest Bank of America branch for a jar of soothing instant money. M-O-N-E-Y. In the form of a time plan personal loan. Hmm? Available only at Bank of America. Uh, and this next, uh, let's say the, 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 this next two are um, uh, Hans Fischer Cozen, probably from around about 1940. werden so jährlich durch Mottenfraß vernichtet. Aber seitdem die moderne Wissenschaft Eulan erfunden hat, ist Schluss damit. Eulan wird schon im Fabrikationsprozess angewendet. Damit werden alle Erzeugnisse aus Wolle, Federn, Haaren ein für allemal mottenecht gemacht. 
Nutzen Sie diesen Fortschritt und achten Sie immer auf das Eulan-Etikett. Unmöglich. Ist ja nicht zu genießen. Jetzt müssen wir verhungern. Wir müssen abwarten. Das Kleid muss ja auch mal gewaschen werden. Und dann haben wir wieder tüchtig zu fressen. Eulan behandelte Waren sind auch nach dem Waschen für immer ungenießbar für die Motten. Wir sind verloren. Eulan bleibt wirksam für immer. Behandelte Waren sind in fortschrittlich geführten Geschäften erhältlich. Sie müssen nur immer auf das Eulan-Etikett achten. Der ist erfolgreich als Mann. Er zieht sich immer gut an. Sie legt auf schick größten Wert. Drum ist sie stets so begehrt. Doch der hier bildet sich ein. Anzug ist alles nur Schein. Er möchte lieber ganz stur hier vorüber. Doch zieht es alle da rein. Familie Blau. Schuldfrau, Knirps mit Mama, samt dem Papa. So ging sie vorhin hinein und kommt heraus dann piekfein. Das Haus zieht jedermann an, hier wird der Jüngling zum Mann. Und bist du dann Kavalier? hat man Vertrauen zu dir. Früher wie heute, leider machen Leute, das sieht man wieder mal hier. Familie Blau, Schulz und Frau, Nirps mit Mama, alle groß da. And this last one, I probably played before. I don't know much about it, but uh, it rules. Tradition tells of a pill's lager and of a silent messenger's timeless search, his quest, that lager, the lager of Lamont. Strong pills with a taste beyond time, smoothness beyond dreams. Seek out the lager of Lamont. Jesus, I love beer. Well, uh, it's about 10 o'clock, so I think let's do, um, yeah, heavy metal, right? I would like to, I, I want to watch heavy metal again, but I think I just want to do it myself. Like, it doesn't feel, it feels too much of a mess to play here, right? Like, there's parts of it that I love, but a lot of it is just unwatchable. Maybe I could play like a part of it. Uh, I think now we're going to take a break. I'm going to play uh, around 10 minutes of the intro mix. And then we'll do some more, shall we? 
uh, thank you so much for coming. It's I'm having a nice time here, being here with you. Robot Carnival, that's a fucking good one. Jesus, is that a thing anymore? The like extremely opulent, high budget uh, anthology animated movie? No, I'm sure it's not. God, Robot Carnival is awesome. So anyway, uh, here, listen to a couple songs. I'll see you in a minute.
Just now. 
Whoops, give me one second here. Oh, it doesn't. <sighs> Hey folks, that song Hai Sai Oji San is apparently a uh, old timey Japanese folk song. There's a ton of different versions of it. I learned about it by by means of that version of it from uh, WFMU, my favorite radio station, and they apparently. Uh, They'll go through like cycles where every everybody, every one of their DJs is obsessed with like a particular version of that song, and they'll play it all the time. So I've heard it like three times this past this past week. What was I saying? Huh. I'm in a weird. Uh, I'm in a weird mode. Uh, Glorious Hubris in the chat mentions that there's a Discord. There's a link to it in the profile or somewhere easy, easy to find on this Twitch page. Um, you should drop by, say hello. Right? So, um, that's about half of the show right there. I think now let's watch the other Tom and Jerry cartoon I have prepped. These are, I believe both of these are off of YouTube. These are um, film transfers by Steve Stanchfield, uh, who I believe is also known as Thunderbean, uh, who has just done an, an, a huge amount of just really beautiful transfers of old weird cartoons. Virtual Een. The radio station is WFMU. It is the best radio station. It is incredible. Just constant wild stuff you never would have thought to look for. It has been a revelation to me. I have a radio with a good enough antenna that I can pick it up from where I'm at in Brooklyn, which I've never been able to do before this radio. And I love it. What is it about radio? Why does the music stop? What? What is it about radio? It's still happening. You don't need to pay a subscription thing. You don't need an expensive piece of machinery. You don't need to like opt into this or that. Um you know corporate internet structure it's just happening and you can buy something that picks it up that's wild that's the end of that thought here's Tom and Jerry rabid hunters also from 1930 and one. Oh, it's too big Trying that again.
quite, uh, quite fucking clunky, huh? Banger? They can't all be bangers. I don't know. I'm not, I don't. Maybe I'm not totally sold on these Tom and Jerry's. They feel so. Uh, what's the word? Embryonic or amateurish. <laughs> we like Tom and Jerry. Well, it's territory I'm going to explore further. Uh, next. Um, well, yeah, let's do a Yoji Kuri. Uh, this is called Love from 1963. You'll remember Yoji Kuri. Here you go.
Yes. yes. That is... That is what it's like. Uh, I meant to say at the beginning of that that uh, I transliterated AI uh, means love in Japanese and hi means yes and I assume there's kind of a it's supposed to be both of them kind of like a pun right my I'm, I'm am I literally understanding a pun in a language that I know like eight words of that's fun to believe that I'm doing that So, okay, I'm going to play a Hubbly cartoon next, I believe. Although it's a bit long, it's like 16 or 16 or 18 minutes. But it's a Hubbly cartoon that I have not played in all these months. Uh, so let's give it a try. Shall we? No, I want to play a shorter thing, sorry. Let's get to that in a minute. Oh no, I drank a little bit too much. Oh no. Operation à cœur ouvert. C'est grave, très grave. Il en rechappera. Rechappé Non. Alors il est perdu. Mais non, nous allons pratiquer l'opération à pneus ouverts. Opération à pneus ouverts Mais oui, la technique Michelin, rénovation X. Je supprime les éléments détériorés. La bande de roulement, les nappes, elles sont abîmées. La carcasse est bonne. Sinon, nous l'aurions remise en état. Et maintenant, la rénovation. Une première nappe, neuve. Une deuxième nappe, neuve. Une troisième nappe, neuve. Et une bande de roulement, neuve. Alors, le Rénové X, c'est un pneu neuf. Le Rénové X, c'est un pneu X neuf à très bon compte. Une excellente opération. I'm an Atlas steel-belted radial tire. And I'm an ordinary bias ply tire. And we're going to show you how radial tires work to improve your gas mileage. Ready? Uh-huh. Come on, what's keeping you? Same old problem, squishing and squirming. Ooh, darn side slip. When a tire tread squirms and distorts, you have to work harder to push it along. And that takes more power. <sighs> You're too good for me, radial tire. My wandering treads used up too much energy. Because a radial tire runs truer with less resistance, you could actually increase your gas mileage. And radial tires last longer, too. Yeah. So why drive a crooked mile? Switch to Atlas Radials at your Esso retailer. At Esso. We're working to keep you moving. Okay. Okay, I hope you got something out of that. This now from 1963 by John and Faith Hubley, The Hat. Around 18 minutes long. Here you go.
I must have my hat. Whether you like it or not, I must have my hat. Well, what are you going to do? Come over I'm going to take it. It's against the regulations. Suppose I step over the line anyway. Ah, ah. No, I can't let you do that, mate. This is my hat that I'm, I'm asking you to do. No, go. mate. Technically, now it's mine. Belongs well, to yours. How do you me. figure that? Well, it's over here. I, look, I can't. I'm not allowed to talk on this blooming line. Did you see me with the hat on? Yeah, I thought you looked very nice in it. <laughs> but you bunged it over here. You f you uh, you dropped it off your nut, and it's on the ground. Well, that means that I lose my hat. Well, I don't know if you lose it. I expect if uh, it goes through the proper channels, you get it back in a few months. What but, channels I mean, are you I don't know what of? channels. I'll give it to the man who uh, puts it in the channels, and then you apply. Look at all those animals passing across this line. And, and, and yet, we, the higher form of life here. I can't talk. Listen, you had better give me my hat. Yes. Yes, you better give me my hat. Look, mate, it's on my side. I mean, if you... It's you, my hat. Well, I know, but if you try anything, boy, I mean, you come over here, and I'm afraid you're going to get... Uh, I'm going to get what? I'll have to blow it off or You're something. not the only one that has guns. I if you don't give me my hat, we are going to rumble. <laughs> So why can't I cross the line? Well, uh, uh, I suppose it's evolution, mate. My hat is still sitting down That's there. That's what I say. It's been the survival of the fittest. I mean, no. It well, doesn't have to be that I way. mean, you know, why, why does line? it have to be dog eat dog? It's always been like that. From the word go. You're a little off. From the word go. Dig what the dinosaur did. Dinosaur? The dinosaur. Do you know why he's extinct? Because he couldn't adapt himself. It came to the ice age uh, the, from getting cold. He couldn't adapt himself to the cold. He caught a cold. And split. And split. Yeah, whoa. Well, well, yeah, I suppose it's a So we have to out. adapt know, ourselves to living here with one another because we have become ex extinct ourselves. You've heard of the paramecium. The phrase, one cell. One cell. Yes, one cell. A parabot. Paramecium. Yes. Paramecium. Yeah. But they pile up in vertical piles to get the better water. Well, why didn't you get a few of your mates to pile up their hats or something? What do you what? mean pile up my hat? Well, what are you talking that about? That is my hat. I, you... I'm speaking of people getting along. Why can't people be like animals? Well, people are like animals. I mean, uh... Yeah, but I'm not speaking of the carnivorous animal. Uh, I'm speaking of, uh, why can't there be something like the sea bass? No, you're trying to sidetrack me, you know. No, I'm not trying no, to sidetrack yes, you at all. No, 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 no. No, really. They had some sea bass in, in, in a tank yeah. uh, with some weeds there. And they would attack one another and fight and fight and fight. But they removed the weeds and then they stopped fighting. When human beings can't adapt themselves to... Well, I can't adapt become... myself to this hat being over here. I mean... Why are you so anti-me? Well, I'm not anti-you. Yes, I mean, you are. No, no you... Well, why no. can't I get my hat? Tell well, me no, look, I mean, it's not... It's a... It's a now, listen. Respectfully we regarding have... your sea bass and dinosaurs, now there's people on now. top of me, boy, like the old para me para whatnots. You know, they, I mean, if they sit on top of each other do something socially, about mate, somebody's sitting on me anti-socially, and I can't do nothing about it. I mean, what do you uh, think about the moon? Well, I think about the moon. Yeah, what do you think about the moon? Well, uh, 
Well, it's a bit of a daft question, isn't it? What do I think about the moon? You think the same thing? They're going to draw a line up there, too? Oh, oh once they get the up there, there'll be so many lines, mate, that you won't be able to move a foot. And I'm hungry, too. Do you fancy a meal? I'll get some twigs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't mind being at home right now. You know, we used to have duck on a Sunday. Never used to be as fresh as this, mind you. But uh, we used to have duck on Sunday. Monday, we used to have sausages. Tuesday, lamb chops. Wednesday, we used to have uh, what was left over from Sunday. Cold. Very dry. Very dry. You have children? Yeah, I've got a uh, boy and a girl and a small oh, yeah. baby. And... Would you like to see one of mine? Yeah. Well, this is my yeah, youngest one. Is he in a sort of a well, bath um, tub or something? Marvellous. Hey, he's a, he's a nice looking boy. Well, is children. it a boy or is it a girl? I can't... It's a boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got sure. very long hair for a boy, uh, really, isn't he? I'm yeah. getting homesick. You know, humans no. haven't been fighting, but say, 20,000 oh. years. Well, that's quite a long time, isn't it? That's a few rounds, isn't it? Man lived together in peace all oh, for many, many thousands and thousands of years. Yeah, and then they start killing each other again. Getting they? back to my hat, what do you think about B.C., the Egyptians? The Egyptians, you know why, why they lost? Why their the civilization collapsed? Why is that? Because of the lines. You know that's not true. It's true? Nah. It's true. There was a great city on the West Bank of the Nile in, in Africa called Kush. You know what crumbled that? Kush? They weren't thinking worldly. If I was born B.C., I'd be thinking pretty small, I should think. When you lived in a village, you thought of the village. When you yeah, but everybody wants to thank me. Why should you, you should know, think? I read a little book once. Uh, History of the World, it was called. It was in five pages. Didn't go into much detail, of course, about the uh, the Greek city-states. Apparently, these places didn't survive because uh, the states couldn't get together, because they couldn't uh, come to That's an agreement. That's what I said. Towns like Athens and... Oh, they were Spire. always fighting, fighting one another. Yeah, but... I'm fighting one another within yeah. the line. So what do you think they're going to do when someone is outside the line? They're going to rumble until the end of time. People put lines around themselves to uh, protect their property, to uh, but protect wait a minute, themselves. wait a minute, their it's property. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do we think that we can survive when these other Greek civilizations didn't? Uh, you had the Roman Empire, didn't you? Went, went to pieces, went completely to pieces. You've got all them people fighting each Chinese. other to keep alive. You've got the Chinese bit. And then you had the barbarians, didn't you? You had those, uh, well, of course, uh, that was, that was, uh, that was... Well, what do you think start? about... Because you had them, you had those feudal states, you had the, uh... Well, what do you think about... kingdoms. But even when you came to the democratic, uh, states, I mean, you, uh... You put the sovereignty in the hands of the people, you still... What do you think started the world, or first world war? Uh... Uh, lines, lines, <laughs> lines. Each one coveted what the other one had over yeah, well, on his other side that's of that's his that's line. It's, uh, I mean, you got World War One, you got World War Two, and then you had the atom bomb. I mean, wait a minute now, stop right there. Wait a minute, hold it right there. You have atom bomb. I right want to hold it right there, but well, I don't have, think anybody have, else. All that's got to go out the window now. War to settle disputes now is obsolete. And so first thing we got to do is do away with war. So what's the first thing you do with, with, with war? Well, you uh, 
Disarm. Disarm, yes. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? It'd be delightful. No, it'd be marvellous. It'd be marvellous. But what happens if you disarm? I mean, uh, I'm out of a job for a start, and so are you. What do you do? I mean, uh, what happens to me? I mean, I, I, I don't like this sort of job, you know. I mean, uh, as far as I'm concerned, they can make this gun out of uh, wax. If it should start now with this bomb, zoom. So we, we must make an agreement that's binding on everybody. Little, big, medium. Disarm? <laughs> well, I'm, I, yeah. As far as I can tell, you need a lawyer. My hat mate. is still sitting out you there. Need a, you need a Look lawyer. My hat, my hat is still sitting out there. Go and there. call your lawyer. Atrocious. Uh, are they? We are two men, right? Well, as far as I can tell, yeah. And we have minds of our own, right? Well, uh. Do we have minds of our own? Or are, we, yeah. are we robots? Well, me and you. I tell you, I, yeah, yeah. You step up on my side and I step up on your side. <laughs> I couldn't do that, no. What, you mean swap over? Yes. Well, just for a minute. Step over my side and I step over your side. What? And then, and we might like it. Oh, yeah, no, no, wait We might like no, it. No, you're trying to trick me now, I can tell. Suppose you were to send one of your children over into my territory. Would that, that child belong to me? I wouldn't send a child of mine over this line. I couldn't. Suppose we just eliminate that line altogether. I want to eliminate your flipping hat. What do you mean by that statement? Look, I'm standing here on this line in a perishing cold, looking after your ruddy hat, which I don't want. Well, why can't you just pick it up and give it back to me? Well, you know, it's not the line that's the trouble. Is it? I mean, it's not the line itself. There's a little line around my town at home. There's a little line around the county. There's a little line around... Look, the thing is, you see, there's, um... There's no law, you see, that's the thing. There's, there's no... It's nobody to say, no, you can't do this. Who's going to tell a, 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 a country to, to stop doing something? But everybody should give up just a little bit to, to uh, uh, survive the one big thing, to, to uh, be sure that, that we, we, the whole world has a stake in it. I mean, uh, I like pea soup. You probably don't like it at all. But there's no reason why we should go to war on that. I mean... Yeah, I like Kipler. Yeah, well, well, I like Kipper too. That's one. That's the point of agreement, right there. Agreement. Well, that's the first one, is it? Yes. Suppose I didn't like Kipper. Well. Uh, Suppose I didn't. Now, what would you do about that? Well, I wouldn't hold it against you. I mean, I'm a very, I'm very conservative, really. I mean, I've, I never wear a brown suit. Um, people say, uh, they say, George, I've never seen you in brown. I've never seen you in brown. I say, well, it's something I can't help. But, I mean, I'm sure I, it's something I could no, do. No, you wouldn't of. begrudge me of the fact of wearing a white one, would you? No. No, I think it was, uh, charming. You can have your kippers and your white suit. But, you know, it's going to take a lot of work. I mean, you think of, uh, uh something like a, an international police force. No, that's going to be very tricky. Because it's going to be, uh... Well, you've got, you've got a judicial system in cities, but you've got to have a judicial system for the continents. You've got to have... There must be some way that we can 
eliminate this suspicion of man against man. Yeah, there's too much to be gained from, uh... Well, it, they, they would have to be some kind of a, uh, an, authority, an authority. There's no other alternative. Mm. howdy that was kind of the most uh, the most exactly on the nose hubbly cartoon possible (laughs) right if you had to just like come up with one from scratch knowing what knowing what you may know about what they made that would kind of be it Right? Very charming, though. It's no The Hole. I like The Hole myself. Uh, We're going to do a single one more thing, I think. I think, yes, this is a little over 10 minutes, I believe. Uh, It is from 1938. It's called Norakuro's Tiger Hunt, Japanese cartoon from the series pertaining to Norakuro, who's a cat, I believe, overtly inspired by Felix the Cat. Uh, this is a good one. I don't know. I like the I like the motion in this one. 1938. Here you go.
皆元気よく、みただいま一等の大虎が現れて市内は大混乱を呈しております至急猛犬連隊の出動をお願いいたします至急猛犬連隊の出動をお願いいたしますうーんこれは大変だこれより討伐を開始する冒険連隊第二中隊スマッの空に我が輩が行って気がつかるからお前たちはここで見物してやろう<笑><笑>
That one went a little harder than I remembered. Uh, allow me to reiterate to you my invitation to the Ambiguity Program Gundam Party next week. That's the end of our show, my friends. That's the end of our show. Thank you so much for coming. Nice to hang out with you. This has been the Ambiguity Program. Bye bye.